This is the world's first steam-powered paddle steamer. That first steam-powered ship of any description. It was trialled here on the lock at Dow Swinton on the 14th of October 1788. The hull had been designed by Patrick Miller, the owner of the Dow Swinton estate. Originally it had been hand cranked, but William Simonton, who worked in the mines at Warnlock Head, constructed an engine, a steam engine, basically a Newcomen atmospheric engine with some of the improvements that James Watt had uh, invented. In fact, James Watt took an injunction out against him. Didn't stop him from building it, however. The original engine still survives, or part of it does. And that's at the Science Museum in London. It's a catamaran, and since it's got two hulls, and has two paddles in the centre. It achieved a speed of five miles an hour in the water, although it's said that uh, it had difficulty and some hand cranking had to be done to successfully complete the trial up and down the loch. The loch is actually entirely artificial. Patrick Miller down Swinton was the landlord, Robert Burns. There'd been a lot of controversy about whether Robert Burns was invited on board the ship on its first journey. Well, it seems that he certainly was not. Uh, he may have been amongst the crowd of the observers. It's particularly it's a very small boat, you can imagine that not many people would be able to go on board. Certainly, Robert never mentioned any letters, because we know he was certainly here on the day, because he wrote to his wife on that date, 14th October 1788. And he never mentioned it in any poems or any other writings. So presumably he was a bit miffed, having not been invited on, considering what a significant event it was. Beginning of the Steam Age. William Symington went on to build the Charlotte Dundas that was a very, su very successful and the first sort of working steam-powered boat since it was uh, able to um, act like a tug pulling ships along the canal and so on. However, the Patrick Miller, because of the increasing costs, gave up his experiments. <laughs> 